Hi, it's Genevieve and I'm about to color Sailor Moon. This is the largest piece that I've, um, marker piece that I've ever done. So I've broken it into two sections and um, this is going to be the coloring of Sailor Moon herself. And in part two, I will show you the background. So here I'm starting in on her skin and I'm starting with a really light shade this time, E000, which I believe is fruit pink. I'm going around the edges with the really light shade and then coming into the middle with um, my medium shade which is E00. And that's because um, I've decided she's going to have the full moon behind her so she's backlit and I, I want a little bit of a glow um, all around that the edges of her. So the darker shades are going to be to the middle um, portions of her face and body. So I'm just filling in um, the middle with the main shade and I'm being real careful to leave the outer edges that light shade of um, skin tone. Now I'm coming in with E11, which is barley beige, and blending it into um, places where there normally would be a shadow, like um, where her skirt casts a shadow onto her legs, but also um, into the, the middle parts of her um, thigh and arm and face. Those are all going to be a little bit darker because, again, um, there's reflected light all around the edge of her from the background. Now I'm gonna um, come back with the um, medium tone, kind of blend that in a little bit. I'm going to add a blush to her cheeks. Not quite yet, I guess. Here's the blush. And I'm just deepening that a little bit. And lastly, I come back with the really pale skin shade and blend everything over just once more so it's nice and smooth. Now I'm going to move on to the white areas which I'm using um, cool grays to shade because it's going to be a night sky behind her so there's going to be lots of blue so I want to keep the gray tones cool. And I love that Copic markers have um, three, actually four different um, sets of gray tones, the warm grays, the neutral grays, the cool grays and then the toner grays because um, sometimes you just really want the difference of a cool versus a warm shade of gray. And I'm leaving kind of a white area to the outside. That's where the moonlight is um, catching again. And I'm going to blend that um, darker shade with cool gray too, slightly lighter. And, um, oh, I forgot to do the underarm area there. I'm doing that. And now I'm going to come in and just sharpen those the dark areas a little bit. They weren't standing out enough for me, so I added back in. And now I'm using um, C0 to um, add the lightest areas of gray there.
Now I'm going to move on to the red areas, her bows and her boots. And I'm using a pink um, for the areas of um, reflected light around the edges. Because light red is actually pink. So just the um, parts of her costume that kind of stick out and that would catch the light are going to have those pink edges on them. And then the main um, central areas of the, the red are going to be um, R24, which I think is prawn. I'm just filling all that in. Lots of um, detail, so it um, actually go quite a bit slower when I'm coloring smaller things just so I'm careful not to uh, let the colors bleed into sections where they're not supposed to be. Which is part of the reason this one took me so long. Now I'm coming in with my darkest shade of red which is um, R46, the strong red, and I'm putting kind of a shadow in the, the darkest parts in the center. I'm going to blend a little bit with the medium red. And then lastly, I'll come back with the that pink shade and blend it all in even more. And there's the um, pink area or the red area is completed. Now I'm going to move on to her hair. Again, I'm starting with a really pale shade, much lighter than her hair actually is. Um, this shade is Y11. I'm just going around the edges of each section. Basically, I'm coloring the light shades um, just where the highlights are. So on the top of her bangs and the edges of her um, ponytails. Now I'm coming in with um, Y15, which is kind of the main color for her hair. And just filling it all in. This time I'm coloring on um, Bristol board instead of my usual um, Express It blending card because um, the Express It blending card only comes in um, eight and a half by 11 sheets and I wanted to work on a larger scale this time. This piece of Bristol board I cut to be um, nine by 12 inches and I'm going to post a little more about the composition of this piece um, because I actually drew the original drawing on a separate sheet of paper and, um, and it wasn't at all centered the way I wanted it to be so I used tracing paper to um, trace it and transfer it to this sheet so that I could center it and kind of compose um, the piece the way that I wanted it to be. I used the original drawing to um, try out 
some different ideas for backgrounds, um, including the moon that I ended up doing um, for this final piece, but also so that I could um, decide which colors I wanted to use for the sky. Here I'm adding the shadow for her hair, which is Y23. And again, I'm keeping the, the darkest parts at the center. Um, normally when I um, do shading, I do it with um, direct light. So the light, you're thinking of the light is shining directly on the front of the character that I'm coloring. Um, but this time, as I've said, um, there's going to be a full moon behind her, so the light is kind of behind her, and we want her to have that nice kind of glow around the edges. So the darker parts are towards the center. For the gold parts, I used um, the Y15 and then came in with um, Y28. Kept it pretty simple because they're um, these gold pieces are so small. And now I'm um, just real quickly going to do her lips. And move on to her eyes. For the inner details, um, I, I keep it mostly the way I, I do them on other pieces, which is the light parts towards the bottom and um, darker towards the top of the lid where, um, where the eyelashes cast a shadow. So her skirt and her collar are, you know, good dark royal blue, but since I'm doing that highlight, I'm starting out with a really light, kind of a baby blue. I think that's um, B21. And then I come in with a, a darker blue, B24. that I'm kind of using as the main fill color for her skirt. And I'm gonna um, darken where the pleats are in her skirt and a good solid um, I'm going to bring a lot of that right into the front which is going to catch the least amount of the moonlight behind her. And I'm blending that a little bit with the medium blue again and filling in the collar And then bringing that dark shade of blue into the collar there too. I'm blending with the medium shade. And then I'll go back over it all with the lightest shade. So that highlight kind of, um, so there's a smooth blend in there. And Sailor Moon is finished. Tune in next week where I will post the second part of this video where I color the background. Thanks for watching.